a video of me, Megan Decker. I am on the path to becoming an elementary school educator. This is my first quarter in the Evergreen State College's Master in Teaching program. Here, we are witnessing my first ventures as a teacher. Part of my strengths as a teacher is presenting myself in a professional manner, including my consideration of attire. Among my strengths is my teacher presence. I feel that my use of hand gestures, my facial expressions, teacher voice, and body language present an enthusiastic nature. Students tend to pick up on these cues and it has the potential to engage more students. It could also be beneficial for ESL students that may need additional visual cues for understanding. Additionally, I exercise good pacing when speaking. I did not speak too quickly and worked to establish good wait times. For this lesson, I practice asking open-ended questions and I would rephrase questions when participation was lacking. I feel that a contextual worldview is the most inclusive way to approach teaching. A teacher should know their students and the communities of those students in order to better relate to them and connect them with the lessons. I try to look for opportunities to relate my lessons to the students. When presenting my lesson on reasons for deforestation, I included satellite images of Washington State, where we live. And during my direct instruction model presentation, I incorporated a shared experience from a previous class. I feel that it is important to create a classroom environment that encourages participation, and sometimes this requires the teacher to explain why the students are doing what they are doing. Not surprisingly, there are still things that I need to work on, so let's take a look. Here is a time when it would have been beneficial for me to have practiced a little bit longer before the presentation. So here is where you want to be very clear about what your agenda is so the students really can know where we're moving from steps to step so that they can be engaged and establishing the set means that they will be prepared like you get them interested in the lesson so that they can be easily engaged. I get lost in what I am saying and end up repeating the same word several times over. An area that I need to strengthen is that I need to be more cognizant of my language. There are several times when I refer to the students as, you guys. This is not a gender neutral term. Here is another example of a time I had practiced being gender neutral, only when I was actually presenting, it didn't play out quite as I had intended. Let's see. I also need to work on my adherence to the teaching model. Being that this was a direct instruction model, there should not have been a critical thinking question. Instead, the question should have been an extension of the lesson where the students practice what was learned in class. Here, a student has answered a question, to which I reply, that's right, and then I move on. This is a missed opportunity. Since the lesson model is classroom discussion, I should have asked the rest of the students to share their responses to what the first student said. This would have encouraged a discussion among the students as opposed to being a question and answer session. Given that I do not come from a background in education and the fact that I am terrified of public speaking, I am quite pleased with my teacher presence. However, not surprisingly, there are still things that I need to work on. <laughs> 